very very good morning friends so the power power levels is quite clearly seen exactly as i described in the daily video it has crossed uh it came down to our support and it is already 50 points up from that level i'm expecting a very very big move today let's see which direction it comes in give it a few minutes to settle down and then we will know the direction okay so let's just mark some levels for some cash stocks so the trade is pretty simple now just uh, go along about 24.994 for target of 25053 2100 just three days but now some move these are the kind of moves that we need to take so i bought on this day even in a crashing market see how well candlesticks work right very simple bullish and dolphin pattern and a kind of a hammer or a hangman depending on where you see it which is confirming this a nice pullback and then boom let's focus on nifty for now good morning Anna. good morning i'm all Okay, IRDA. So those who are on the gold level will get a detailed instruction on how to trade this. That looks bullish now. I'm waiting. So yeah, hotel is another thing that I discussed here a bit of yesterday. That is also a great trade, right? I will be creating a video on this later on. We need to patiently wait for our levels to come. Let's uh, move to the 15 minute chart now. The 15 minute chart, what you see is a gravestone doji and a bearish candle that's potentially going to confirm it. But what is a gravestone doji doing at a support level? That's a question that we need to ask, right? So, which means that we need to let this candle form and so my starting assumption that uh, this is a fake candle so for that to be proven either way we need to wait for this candle to come so from here now it crosses without breaking this low if it crosses 24.973 that becomes bullish for me so thank you good morning Kunal. no position still now so aggressive long is about 24.973 that's where i'll go because i really like the fact that market is taking support at exactly where it want on he wanted it to take support there we go there we go there we go whole level is crossed just waiting for one minute to cross it we let it stay there for one minute set always remove we just need one trade and that should be a rockstar trade and today could be a good day for getting a good rockstar trade also remember we are trading against the trend so it could be a trend change day so maximum of 50 percent is what we are doing just a moment just a moment it will recover 945 now this safe buying is about 25 994 and see how the 973 is acting as a critical point so we have I have selected 25,000 call option, which is at 162, which is okay. Still waiting, just a bit. Still got to look at the chart. Okay, good. Oh, that is a huge jump. Let's come back, come back, come back a bit, come back a bit. Yeah, okay, so I am jumping in. 170, 173.5. What's our target? Target is pretty simple. It's safe pull target is also close, so I'm going to add one more lot. Yeah, so the first target is going to be 25,033. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I have to send out IR EDA details just a moment <laughs> this is signs of solid bullishness coming in it could be wrong but then let's be wrong it's great what a beautiful nice support this has made in this region i would like to add a 10 ma to this to see that the guy is exactly there right so why i add 10 ma it will be white thickness i had uh, drawn this trend line on our uh, daily video also there's the trend line which is following this right so now once this is above this then we can say full bullishness will be setting in right so till then it will always in our risky mode system to stop for this well so i don't see any need for nifty to so we have having around 13 points of surplus usually we get 10 but this time is 13 that's okay so anil if you are there i've uh, shared with you the ired details ired looks very promising to me condition is still not satisfied see so ired if it goes up on the first trade away go to 250 50 now 260 66 and then sky the limit. nifty is cool it is i think it will easily make our target now today is the day where we are trying to get the 50 percent so 160 50 percent this 80 80 plus 160 or 246 or 200 to 246 is what we are aiming for target for this trade there it goes zoom 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 so big move big move big move come on so right now if we get a big candle at the start of the day that is very very bullish sign but if it goes you know within the first candle remember we are still within the first candle first 15 minute candle of the day so from here
here people can pick out of us so it would be great help if it this crosses the days high start to see big big candles and who knows we might even get 20 but 200 today <laughs> So this is how we picked the bottom of this candle. That's that's where we entered. And then I added one more here. I don't know if you guys added. So I have two big size positions in here now. Nothing booked across the day side, going exactly as we want. And now it is going to close above the 10 EMA also. Now let them just and see. Still have the same line. So if I draw a sort here, which is really nice, we can this is a pattern target, different color. What is pattern here? Here it is simply descending triangle. Remember 2500. 3.95 is our first target 1.272 level 25060 which is near to our persistence also is the next target and then 25108 25139 25191 25201 25220 so our golden thinking should be 200 to 240 okay because this is still a pullback you know what might be a bearer right daily chart see the trend is still firmly down we know the trend will restore only above as i have told in weekly uh, sorry daily video 23 235 so, till then any attempt we should consider only as a pullback so pullback man, maximum we should aim for is 25 to 50 the main trend we can look for 100 percent but here we look only for 25 to 50 percent so this guy has now given 12.5 percent from our entry almost 12.89 now the resistance are uh, 194 so as i said plat industries is expected this to do well and uh we don't like this pullback okay now let's check can for some stocks if uh, there is any opportunity intraday just bringing up my system for scanning so 25,000 is of course the all number round number resistance psychological level expected here and, uh, still don't see any reason to change our view except that 25,000 is not losing any for interest that's a uh, concerning let's switch back to the pipe no stock okay that's right around 164 hey good morning builder so we have uh, 25,000 call entered at uh, 164.6 top is 151 although that may not be needed now let's see it is showing a bit of resistance at 25,000 which is expected uh, expect. so there's a natural reaction from the 10 may also so it's okay we can leave that we can leave that sometimes on some days we have to risk a bit of our profit or even accept the possibility of a loss when we are thinking of big targets right it, it's still an inverted hammer uh, the worst case so far so it's okay what is IRUD? No. So at this point, I would expect 25,000 to. Oh, my scans are not working. I know why. Okay, I'll fix it later. I'll have to depend on trading view for today's trends. So what we don't want to see is now Nifty drifting down to our already validated areas, right? So let's keep the stop for now, but I might exit if it comes on this area. I'll, I'll in for. Builder, 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 builder. Yes, yes, please expect more fall. Please expect more fall. We will take it up to 20. Five wow, two hundred cup line per ram. The builder is right on one thing though. Please hit the like button. That's very important. Thank you, builder. Two things on me. One to say. Yes, boss. Daily video. Dekha nahi kya? Expecting a big move today, and we'll see what is the low and what does the support level given in the video, and see the candle pattern. It's going exactly as per our expectation so far, right? The builder, you trade Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty might do exactly differently. So I'm not saying anything about Bank Nifty. Okay. But this trend line is our enemy and friend. 10MA is getting resisted. It's not given a single close above that till now. Is our fascination over with 25,000? Can we have some moves? Please. Thank you, Builder. So far, it is going in the direction that we expected. And it is crossed the day's high. 185 ho gaya. Is it on 2... What 200 to 240. So, reach me 222, 219. 219 per minute. Then let's see if it can sustain. We can always re-enter. But that would be a mega profit. Great way to stop the week. So, what does this today's close? What are the other lines? Very near our first target of 25033. And yesterday's close was at 25008. So, comfortably above that. And is going to close above, hopefully, close above our enemy, which will become our friend from here on. If it closes above, we know that there is a nice little pattern which is formed here, which is an ascending triangle, right? So, the structure here. So, this triangle target comes to 25 to 20. 
Nifty has moved to 50 points from our initial buy and 30 from our second buy safe level. As we can see, so this is a congestion area over here, right? So Kali Hape Pocha Kipi Sada, right? Hey, how good was yesterday, man? 25,000 expiry bolitos, 25,000 pay expiry. Awesome, man. Hey, he had a very strong gut feeling he's gonna make everybody zero 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 zero. Okay, good free is looking starting to look interesting. Still not out of the woods because in the daily chart we have, we have actually cut the inside bar low, right? So we need comfortably going above all this for us. We'll see. You now bank nifty is at the key resistance of 25.500. And about that, now go for a pull. This is a very interesting level here. This is 40 right So one candle, one 15 minute candle, if it closes above this stinky is like uh, whether I enter this trade or not uh, will depend on uh, the nifty trade probably because I don't want to trade against the market. I'll wait. Anyway, should close it off. Wow, as soon as I say it jumps. Is it tariff? Okay, so now you can see that Nifty made an inverted hammer, which is a bullish angle thing, also and comfortably closed above that opening high. So everything going very well. Now a pullback done, and once across this, go to the next target of 425. At least now I should see the hmm, this is quite interesting. What I'm not seeing is 25,000 open interest not falling at all, which is which is never a good sign. So let's give it five more minutes. This time uh, we don't have my door update problem in 17. Yeah, let's see. 10 20. I want to see 25,000 call open interest go down right now. Lightly gone down, but not enough. I wanted to go down by at least two to three lakhs. It currently it's around 22 lakhs. I want to see it around 20. 18. That means that the calls, the short calls, are getting covered. Simple logic that usually tends to happen when we cross 21 levels 25 0 20 25 25 000. okay let's do one thing let's keep our stop loss is 165 which is almost our buy price because uh, i'm a bit worried why this stop interest is not falling so let's not be caught off guard safe but as safe than sorry 165 is going to be our trading stop from here on if any of you want to take some profit out you are welcome to do so so the law, law of this candle is 165.25 this is a stop please remember it will just might just touch and then boom back see with uh, 10 to 20 seconds or 5 to 10 whatever you are comfortable with will lose some continuous fall many a times it has helped me so yeah this is exactly what i was mentioning when i see, didn't see the open interest falling it's still at 22 point something lakhs the good thing is the put interest is increasing but we want to see what we want to see at this moment what we want to see is the call interest fall the thing to do you're just waiting so if this happens when inside bar then there's another interesting thing that will come up right 23 points maybe 105 box like that that box like that back it must be the oh yeah we so i see the first sign of open interest dipping it's reduced by 20 thousand for two lakh not so far our free is moving up very well it's very 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 good to move so just nicely tested the previous breakout zone and going to put in a good candle which i like and i like to get multiple confirmations before i enter a trade because a lot of nonsense is happening nowadays we don't already have a breakout we'll just do the breakout and then bring it down a lot we have to be one step ahead of all these algo guys who are it is doing that pretty okay open interest uh, has fallen by maybe seventy thousand. why data is so my own now uh, i developed a simple thing i pick up pick it up from the nse site so only that i i had some visualization to it under biryani means all the calls and puts became under no, yesterday 25,000 pay expiry ho gaya, so 25,100 call that we shorted in the morning kya hua? Anda. Anda means egg zero and it was a big serving of under this trip. everybody got under so i was talking place because what is happening is the put open interest is also falling along with all its small and lesser compared to this is so sign of a failed attempt uh, 163 minutes will close and sorry 160 okay so that's it just waiting for one moment one moment one moment one moment one moment, one moment. that's oh nifty failed to establish and it's fallen back into the triangle right all these levels don't matter anymore no safe level of minute chart again and it is making a bearish angle thing or it can record so now you have very clear, clear gold post right this is a high power which makes a bearish angle thing and breaks that candle so then it will be better and i need to use the logical back this doesn't look like a pullback to me. Okay, so we can say that below this level and 
Select thread repeat to plot below the day slope, yeah, because then we are getting double triple confirmation that you already started. Also, we can see that this will be nice. So, it looks like a triangle breakout trailing, right? Confirmation will come to this stop process. So, on the other hand, if it crosses this stays high, then the bull bull will be back. Very simple trade now. So, I bring in bank nifty, bank nifty saying that we will go up. Wow, interesting. Let me jump out first. This bank nifty now, a level cross kartega to udega 500 pips. So that was a 41,500 and the inside bar. The bank nifty looks interesting to me now from here. It's a beautiful trapping pattern. So up cut targets right now. Where it's going to say be here, right? 611 points. I think 52, 311. I still need to have a lot. But I'm sure that's that. So 51806, 51713. This zone can be an interesting area to look. There you go, there you go, there you go. So as of now, it definitely looks to me like a big bearish candle swing. Scenarios one is it crosses this and then it will be a pull scenario. If it needs to be aware, then what it needs to do is it needs to fall somewhere here to make another pull back to this level and then makes a bearish candle below which it will fall all the way down to 970. So that's two possibilities. One is this, yeah, so it crosses here, then some time, and then boom goes. Scenario two is it comes down, gives a pull back, makes a bearish candle again, again at this exact same level. And then D962, which involves some kind of waiting. Don't jump into trades now. They haven't cost any damage. Came out almost at cost. That's okay. Well, so ch -ch 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 -ch. Was any stocks? Anything to look at? Below 24,981. No, no, no. I don't think the trend has changed. I still believe it will go up. But so there's a difference between view and the trade, right? View is bullish, but the market feedback is no, it is not. That's why we have the stop. So stop, we took it. We can always re enter, right? And see, now it has become 150. So for now, this to be bearish. Now I'm looking at Bank Nifty, not at Nifty, right? Because this is looks like a much better setup to me. So probably it's going this way. It is going to come down here, right? And then give a pullback and give a bearish candle here. Then we can see a strong fall to this. Now, of course, it could fall down all the way. But uh, I think what will happen is this, this, and this. Or if it wants to fool people, then it can go up across this. That will become extremely bullish. So, yeah, it looks like the second scenario is being worked out. And for Nifty, Nifty bearish below days low okay so the smart trade would be wait for it to break days low wait for it to pull back to another 30 40 points up and then we get a uh, bearish candle then uh, it's a new one wala it's my gut feel and i never trade against my gut okay so i feel uh 25 200 will be shown on the screen today i tried one trade in work now i wait patiently for my opportunity to come where the bearishness that we see if it is temporary is proven i am banking on bank nifty to show me that only if it comes to 51 300 and 30 levels and i might start changing my view but again till then 100 points in bank nifty is nothing it's perfectly okay to have differing views and that's exactly where market exists right but in the end you have to do what you have to do so i am expecting 25 200 to be shown on the screen today so how can i go short i cannot because move on my butt i always have strong views but i am flexible on execution but i am not going to execute against that probably i will miss the greatest fall of my life but that's okay market is there tomorrow because so once you start you know dilly dallying between <laughs> bullish and bearish you will end up doing over trading to win trading what mm -hmm. can't be support yeah 50 percent so having said that it's not supposed to break slow and trade below that t1 3 it's almost there now but now interesting thing would be for bank nifty cut this slow and then give a pull back and make a bearish candle here you'll get a very excellent risk reward here and a great trade right? our aim should always be to reduce our risk all so uh, this is how why the open interest trading helped us here today by escaping without making a loss. And that's why we should use all kinds of techniques for you know, getting the better of the guys. Okay. So now it has come to the level that I was expecting in the scenario two, right? It's exactly the same. Now what we need to look for is a pullback because if you short the stop loss is 200 points up and it is very close to this low support. So it does make sense to short here. So wait for it to pull back and wait for it to give a negative candlestick pattern and then you will get a beautiful trade with that for all we know it can just break to break down and go but that's the trade that we should not take it's called form always make sure you have a excellent risk reward those over to be risk and we know that we are 
we will score 300s and 400s if we get a day like Sultan Mustan track small losses and big humongous profits and so see it's 148 now that's the uh, thing so it looks like now let me see how 24 900 looks uh 24 900 says it will hold so oh, that's left in the good slide market is not giving any kind of your signature bank nifty and like nifty did not break yesterday's low daily basis still uh, in sidebar so anybody can guess any number and it will come there the property of inside bar nifty on the other hand did break the low the mother candle also still it is not breaking down what that means it means only one problem. okay so I'm waiting for my chance to come let's see. let it give a bullish signal and then we'll take every single bullish signal but not single bear so i said in the beginning bank nifty might behave in a completely opposite way i'm not interested in bank nifty lane difference we have out then the time for this today yes builder so i have suffered from this remanial trading days i uh, used chase you know why call option stop loss well immediately put option at the end stop loss well immediately call option so here karte karte account khali ho gaya aur kuch nahi hua so when the stop loss is hit first thing you need to do is stop trading right don't reverse and all that nonsense just assess again like you would have seen me do what are the possibilities that is that are there and then see whether your view is still valid because you've done a lot of work to come to that view it's not like coming out of thin air right that's what okay ah it's bullish <laughs> so there is a lot of reasons why we are taking that now market can go exactly opposite to our view that's perfectly okay then wait for it to prove you wrong which will happen now when nifty cuts its days low before that it is not going to happen right once it cuts day low then again i will wait for it to pull back to 24 or again 30 40 points from where it breaks it and then i will look for a good risk reward opportunity to go so maintaining that balance and the poise is very important for to making money in the buying option don't reverse trade see every trade we have probability of 50 percent right very simple so if we don't do one side of the trading let's say if i decide i am not going to buy put options then the probability of me making a mistake is reduced by half so i'll make only mistakes in buying calls and not make mistakes in buying puts that itself will improve my trading tremendously so very simple that's very true <laughs> blowing your cons uh, that's how you learn unfortunately there's no other way to learn trade so uh super day uh yeah, not in terms of profit but good exchange good talk and let's wait for nifty to do what it has to do and uh good luck and have a great weekend remember it's friday fun i'm planning a getaway trip short trip let me back on monday so i'll be watching nifty today to just uh, see if i get an opportunity to go along with thanks thanks builder i always go to goa goa thanks everybody for joining thanks anil and 25 200 bye bye oh you are in kurg kurg is my second favorite place Ciao. take care bye bye